guest, he is a movie icon. He put the bite into James Bond. Could we ever forget him? Have a look. Ask James Bond about his most feared villain and the towering assassin Jaws would probably top the list. He didn't say much and didn't need to. Jaws made his point with those famous metal teeth instead of gnashes that could bite through anything. Played by Richard Keel, Jaws appeared in two Bond films, The Spy Who Loved Me and Moonraker. And despite several near-death encounters, always managed to walk away. He's with us on the Studio 10 couch. It's Richard Keel, everyone. Yeah. Welcome. Those teeth were rather terrifying. <laughs> yeah, they were kind of nauseating as well. <laughs> <laughs> they went up in the roof of your mouth. If you can imagine this chromium steel in the roof of your mouth, it's kind of like biting a bumper off a car. <laughs> yeah. And did they actually make you chomp through all those cables and wires and Well, that was cars? quite nice. The uh, cable was made out of licorice. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah, I do like licorice. <laughs> so I did about 10 takes of that one. <laughs> and did you, because you, not many Bond films, villains appear in two films. It's, it's quite a rare thing. I think maybe Hans Blofeld might have been the only other one. Yeah, I, th I think I'm the only actor who played the same role. The same one. It's excellent. So it's a, a massively high honour because he literally couldn't kill you, could he? You kept, you kept coming back. My, my agent wouldn't lie to me. He said, don't let him kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and did that, was that a, was, did it turn out you were so popular in the first film uh, that they asked you about. I think Moonraker was the second one, wasn't it? Right, yeah. And, and the, the, you were so popular that they actually said, can you come back? Yeah, it was unbelievable. Uh, when I saw the, uh, the film The Spy I Love You for the first time, it was with a blue-collar audience at the studio yeah. and, and MGM. And uh, when Jaws popped out of the water and survived, <laughs> they applauded and yelled and hooted <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Did you do your own stunts? Yes. All of them? Not, well, not all of them. I, I, I have a fear of heights. Uh, right. You know, right. Vertigo, <laughs> acrophobia. I don't even like being this tall. So it's and, fair to say uh, the scene in space yeah, so would have been Jumping quite... out of an airplane with or without a parachute, no way. So they had a guy that did that for me. I think that's perfectly reasonable. And tell us about your love interest, because mm. Jaws found love in the end. Yeah, and that was, uh, that was great. Uh, they, they wanted uh, to cast a 7-foot, uh, 7-inch seven seven woman. And I said, guys, that just doesn't work for me. <laughs> and they said, well, there she is. What, what, do you, what do you think uh, she should be? Are you, are you expecting a Bond girl? I said, well, that would be nice. <laughs> but um, how about a short girl? And they said, how short? And I said, well, at least five, <laughs> five feet. Oh, how so tall, how yeah. tall are you, Richard? I'm seven, one and three quarters. But my wife is five foot one, almost. Really? And, yeah, would you like to meet her? <laughs> <laughs> but they, they said, uh, five foot. You, you think the audiences would believe that? I said, well, we have uh, three children and one on the way. It's got to be working. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you're ready for Supernova, and obviously, you know, because the fans love to see you. I mean, they must know the Bond films, all the stuff you've done sort of almost to heart. I mean, what are the kind of questions they're asking you? Well, they ask me things like, uh, how were the teeth? And uh, what was Roger Moore like? And, and we'll be there th this afternoon at uh, Olympic Park and, and all day Saturday, all day Sunday. And uh, they like to get their picture with me. And I smash the guy's heads. <laughs> yeah. you know, and I do a little cheek to cheek with the gal. Oh. <laughs> Richard, before we let you go, we have to ask, it would be remiss of us not to, who, who is the best Bond of all time? Well, I want to be with uh, the guy that I always said was uh, the best, uh, George Lazenby. We're going to have tables side by side. <laughs> and people are going to take uh, photos with both of us. Uh, and... Um, you know, I grew up with Sean Connery, uh, and I love the old uh, uh, Dr. No and Thunderball, Goldfinger, uh, Bonds. Uh, uh, they had all the beautiful women, the skimpy babies. So not, yeah. not, not Roger Moore, even you though know, he was yeah, the I was one. a red-blooded American boy, you know. And, uh, but uh, 
I was asked that question at the royal premiere, and I was trying to be diplomatic, and I said, I kind of go for George Lays and be myself. Yeah. But in, in, in reality, uh, it's one of the better movies, uh, because it had uh, a love interest. Uh, it's on he gets married, and then yeah. she's killed. And That's right. It has a lot, had a lot of drama. You well, know. a man your size, I don't think anyone will argue with you, whoever you choose. Uh, <laughs> Richard, you've been wonderful. Thanks for joining us. And of course... <laughs> with Richard and loads more stars from film and television at the Supernova Fan Event. It's on at Sydney Olympic Park this weekend and moves to Perth next weekend at the Convention and Entertainment Centre. Thanks very much, Richard. Appreciate it.